next simple running suture. Now we're moving along, you're becoming a proficient suture with your simple sutures. You could just put a series of sutures that are simple sutures and you'll close a wound much faster. Um, I liken this to like a sewing machine. It, you want to take the exact same bite each time and you want to advance the same amount each time. And that's how you get an incision, a closure to look pretty. So this is just a simple suture. You'll tie your first one with your instrument tie. Keep the length of your suture you know, long enough uh, for the job, but not so long that your hands are going all over the place. And now what we're going to do is reload, and we're going to move along the same distance each time. And even though when we tie the stitch, it looks like it's closer to the skin, you know, we need to enter the skin exactly the same place. So here, it's just a few millimeters on each side. Move along the same distance. Here, a few millimeters. Take the same distant bite on each side. And again, as you see, as you start to get better and better, you can just go faster and faster. And what's going to look nice is that you've done it exactly the same way each time. Now, because we're going straight across underneath the skin, outside we're going to see uh, a slanted suture, like a baseball. We sometimes call this a baseball stitch. If you want to get really fancy, when you're passing your needle deep to the skin, if you pass it on a diagonal, your stitches will look like they're straight across. So there are different ways to do it and different ways on how you want it to look. This is a suture that we do use all the time because it's fast and efficient.